Are you tired of spending countless hours writing essays and completing tedious homework assignments? You might not have to for much longer, or you'll have to write those with pen and paper. You see, right now, schools and academia are in full crisis mode. With the emergence of ChatGPT, an AI-powered chatbot developed by OpenAI, the future of educational assessment is looking very uncertain. ChatGPT is a fine-tuned version of GPT-3, a large language model that creates text by analyzing billions of words of training data. While GPT-3 was somewhat cold and robotic in its responses, ChatGPT is optimized for dialogue and can act almost as a collaborator, bouncing ideas back and forth with the users. In fact, some experts believe that ChatGPT is so advanced that it could spell the end for traditional forms of educational assessment, such as essays, homework, and even take-home exams. ChatGPT is similar to a calculator in that it can provide students with quick and accurate answers to their homework questions. However, while calculators are fixed and always give the same result for the same input, ChatGPT is flexible and generates text based on the patterns in the data it has been trained on. This means that ChatGPT can produce unique and creative responses rather than simply following a set algorithm with a correct user prompt. As technology continues to advance and become increasingly integrated into education, teachers are, understandably, concerned about the potential negative effects it may have on their students. On the surface, ChatGPT and other language models are helpful tools for helping students generate ideas and write essays. However, these tools do not necessarily encourage critical thinking or reflection. In fact, students may become too reliant on these tools, leading to a decrease in their ability to think for themselves and analyze complex issues. It is important to note that ChatGPT does not have an understanding of right and wrong and is simply generating text based on patterns in the data it has been trained on. This is why it is important for teachers to have students show their work, as it demonstrates an understanding of the process rather than just the final result. Furthermore, ChatGPT and other language models do not have the ability to provide context or depth to the ideas they generate. While they may be able to generate a list of potential essay topics or ideas, they cannot provide the necessary background information or context that is necessary for students to truly understand and reflect upon the topic. This can lead to a superficial understanding of the subject matter, rather than a deep and meaningful learning experience. In short, while ChatGPT and other language models may be able to assist students with generating ideas and writing essays, they do not necessarily encourage critical thinking or reflection. As such, teachers may be concerned that these tools may actually hinder their students' ability to think critically and reflect upon complex issues. It is important for educators to carefully consider the potential risks and benefits of incorporating these tools into their classrooms and to find ways to balance their use with more traditional methods of teaching and learning. If you're a student and celebrating the end of essays and homework right now, it's important to take a moment to think about what this means for the future of your education. With the rise of advanced language models like ChatGPT, we may see a return to more traditional methods of education, specifically handwritten submissions. Handwritten submissions could be the only way for teachers to prevent cheating or assistance from AIs, call it what you want. While the convenience of digital submissions is undeniable, it's important to be prepared for the possibility of a shift back to more traditional methods. Although we are still in the early stages of the ChatGPT revolution, some research has already been conducted on the language model's abilities. For example, a study at the University of California recently evaluated GPT-3's ability to perform analogical reasoning. Analogical reasoning is a key aspect of human intelligence that enables us to understand and solve problems by making connections and comparisons to familiar situations. 
This type of reasoning allows us to approach new problems in a flexible and innovative way. To test GPT-3's analogical reasoning abilities, the researchers designed a range of problem types, including a novel text-based task called Digit Matrices, which was modeled closely on Raven's Progressive Matrices. Raven's Progressive Matrices is a test that measures your abstract reasoning skills. It's often used in educational, occupational, and psychological settings to assess cognitive abilities. This task required GPT-3 to solve problems by identifying patterns and relationships between different pieces of information. The researchers found that GPT-3 performed well on these tasks, even outperforming human participants on some of them. In addition to these formal problem types, the researchers also tested GPT-3's ability to solve analogies based on more meaningful and naturalistic relationships. They found that GPT-3 was able to solve these types of analogies with a high degree of accuracy. However, it's important to note that GPT-3's analogical reasoning abilities have limitations. Unlike humans, GPT-3 does not have long-term memory for specific episodes. So, it cannot search for previously encountered situations that might create useful analogies with the current problem. It also lacks a physical understanding of the world, which can hinder its ability to solve problems that involve using tools or other physical objects. Despite these limitations, the researchers were surprised to find that GPT-3 exhibits a very general capacity for zero-shot analogical reasoning meaning it is able to solve novel problems without having been explicitly trained to do so. This property is often considered a key aspect of human intelligence, and it is not typically found in neural networks like GPT-3. Further research is needed to understand how GPT-3 is able to achieve this analogical reasoning ability and whether it has any of the same underlying mechanisms as humans. The researchers are particularly interested in understanding whether GPT-3 possesses some form of emergent relational representations, which is a way that the brain organizes and understands information. Emergent relational representations help us learn, remember, and solve problems. The researchers also want to know if GPT-3 can make connections between different pieces of information in the same way that humans do when they try to understand new things. All of this research will help us understand how GPT-3 works and if it can think and learn in a similar way to humans. As researchers continue to study GPT-3 and its capabilities, the development of GPT-4 is already underway. GPT-4 is expected to be an even more advanced language processing model and has the potential to transform various industries and applications. Some researchers believe that GPT-4 may be able to pass the U.S. bar exam, which is required for becoming a lawyer in the United States. All right, that's it for today. If you want to stay up to date on the latest developments in GPT-4 and other cutting-edge AI technologies, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Do you think this is the end of homework? Let us know in the comments.